90% of the Gulf's oil output is offline. Three weeks after natural disaster in Houston and terrorism in Saudi Arabia, the staggering increase in the cost of energy is felt worldwide. Food prices are way up just about everywhere. Tourism and business travel have nearly stopped. It is a matter of national security. This is a war. And it's an odd kind of one because uh, there hasn't been anything in this country by way of an attack for over four years. And people have gotten to thinking that 9-11 was uh, just some sort of an aberration. It wasn't. Woolsey isn't the only expert raising the alarm. And terrorism isn't the only thing that could send our world into an energy tailspin. In his book, Twilight in the Desert, oil analyst Matthew Simmons argues we're nearing the point when the world will use more oil than it can produce. Do you hear a ticking clock? I hear a gong. I heard a ticking clock during the 90s. And if we don't act, if something doesn't change? Well, our life could get a lot darker fast. What is your worst case scenario? My worst case scenario is so bad that you'd want to go there. Uh, Tell me. We basically end up having a series of, of energy wars over who gets oil. And there are wars between you and your neighbor, and the wars between one town and another, and ultimately one country and another. Chaos. It's just total chaos. SUV sales have tanked. So what would happen to GM and other U.S. automakers if oil were to get really expensive? Say, $100 a barrel or more. That would basically bring the industry to a halt. Extremely expensive energy is going to impact every facet of American life. In Maryland farm country, far from the oil sands of Canada, the deep waters of the Gulf, the aspirations of the Chinese people. Here, there's barely a hint of the precarious balance between supply and demand. Only the odd hybrid suggesting an alternative. This one belongs to the man with whom we started this journey, the former CIA director, James Woolsey. Whether it's a terrorist attack or a... We need to mobilize for war, he tells me. That's how serious it is. We've got to be more resilient than we are now, or we suffer the danger of some sort of a knockout or near knockout blow. It's time now to get going. The President of the United States. Late in his term, President Bush acknowledged the need to move beyond oil. By applying the talent and technology of America, this country can dramatically improve our environment, move beyond a petroleum-based economy, and make our dependence on Middle East a thing of the past. The talent and technology is out there. 